are listening to I Am Refocused Radio with your host, Shamaya Reed. This show is designed to inspire you to live your purpose and regain your focus. And now, here's your host, Shamaya Reed. Hey, welcome to I Refocus Radio. We are here once again. And man, you know what time it is. Today is another interview. We're talking about The Voice this morning. And guess what? We're going with Team Blake with Grace West. Man, you tore up the song I told you so. How are you doing this morning? Thank you so much. I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great, too. I mean, I know you're just soaking it all in. You're on Team Blake. Legendary. How does it feel? Yeah. So I was his last pick ever, the last person he pushed his button for, the last person to join his team. So it has definitely been a surreal experience, for sure. Take us back to your performance when you uh, performed the song, I Told You So. I mean, it was very well put together. What was your experience like just going through that flow? Yeah, so Carlos and I had our rehearsal with Blake, and he really helped us put the arrangement together and figure out what was happening when, because when we first went into it, it was a little, it was hard because I, I mean, I grew up listening to the song. I knew the song before and Carlos going into it had never even heard it before. So it was definitely, there was that learning curve, but I think we really helped each other musically and everything be able to get that song to come together and working with Blake helped a ton as well. Cause it was a country song and, country song Blake knows very, very well. So being able to get input from him and tips and things to do to make it better and to make it more cohesive and just work, it was it was great. It really came together. And on stage, even after watching it, because when you're in the moment, you don't really know exactly like what it's looking like or how it's going to come across. But I think it, it really worked out. And when you reflect on your journey so far beyond The Voice, NBC The Voice, one of the most amazing platforms for singers. Yeah. How do you kind of just reflect on your progress and all the things you learned from your coach? Yeah. So the whole process and just from the beginning, I think has helped me grow as an artist and even just as a human. So just working with so many different artists and people that are all working towards the same goal and have been doing it even a lot longer than I have. So being able to get experience and being around all the other contestants from the beginning and from, I mean, working with Blake Shelton himself is absolutely wild, but yeah, just the whole process has helped me grow just as a person and as an artist, just learning more about music itself, myself musically, and just myself in general. You have family that was also in music. Your your grandfather was into guitar playing. So have you learned anything from him that you're using in this competition? Yeah. So I pretty much learned my foundation of guitar from him. So I would watch him growing up. Uh, He played a lot of rock, a lot of Zeppelin, So I listened to a little bit of everything growing up. So that definitely helped as well, just experience the music itself. But I learned guitar from him. So playing both rounds so far in the competition, I can really thank him for that because he gave me the foundation and the basics and I sort of just ran with it. So he's definitely the one to thank for that. We're talking to Grace West this morning of The Voice. You can watch NBC, The Voice, and man, I have to ask you this last question. When you are staying in the moment, when you're behind the scenes and when you're preparing to be on stage, how do you keep yourself just in that moment and not worry about things you can't control? Yeah, I will say it is hard. It is hard for sure because there's so much happening around you and there's so much going through your mind of, all right, this is being recorded, this is going on TV. The whole country is going to watch it later. My friends, my family is going to watch it. So sort of shutting that part of your mind off and just being present and saying like, all right, I have a goal. This is what I need to go out there to do. It needs to come across authentic. It needs to be real. It needs to sound good. It needs to just sound put together. So really just, I had to ground myself quite a few times, just making sure that I wasn't thinking about things that were out of my control. Like even, I mean, 
it sounds silly, but hair and makeup and what you're wearing. And you just have to sort of block all of that out and keep in mind just the goal, what the music, being authentic and delivering the message, how you want to deliver it. So uh, you've been doing interviews for 30 years, Grace. Uh, I just <laughs> want to say congratulations to all the hard work that's paying off for you. Anything you want to say to your friends and family and your supporters? Just, I couldn't be here without you. I mean, even back home, I'm from Michigan. So just everybody and people all around the country that have been supporting me and just the kind words and the messages and everything, I could not, I mean, keep going without everybody because it really helps. It really helps. NBC, The Voice, talking to Grace West this morning. want to say thank you for your time and best wishes to you. Thank you so much for having me. 